What is up, my triage fam? It's been a while since we were on the vlog game, but we are back. And it is Tuesday now, and like five past seven. I'm just heading to the gym, and we're gonna hit up a back workout. So I'm gonna try to take you through a few of the exercises, maybe do a bit of a voiceover on them, give my rationale, give my, what I'm trying to progress on it. And then I'm also, going to be going to give blood today, something which I recommend most people do um, if they can. Um, so I'm going to take you along with me there too. So generally I'm starting most of my workouts these days with a little bit of joint prep, muscle activation kind of work. So as you can see here, I'm kind of just taking my shoulders through their ranges of motion, kind of just warming up the shoulder area. So I'm gonna be going into a back workout. So uh, I'm focusing a lot on scapular work, essentially, and positioning. You can see here with this as well, like really just working that scapula. And um, obviously this is sped up as well. It's not, not that fast. Um, and really just with this warm up, it's all about preparing the joints for the work that's about to go. Um, it's very generalized, it's not specific yet, and um, we'll see how I kind of tighten up or where I'm at as the program progresses. And as you can see with these plate loaded low rows, um, I have my hands low on the handles. And I'm starting each movement with a kind of forceful contraction, or sorry, retraction of the scapula as well as depression. And I'm doing it with all my reps. Roughly this is a, a three, one, one, two tempo, and I'm really trying to stick to that. And then we move into these sternum lap pull downs. And with this, again, I'm focusing on that retraction and depression, or rather I start with a depression and then retract. And I'm aiming to bring that handle down to my lower chest. And as you can see here, I'm modifying that resistance curve by changing my body position. And these are really much tougher than your regular D-handle lap pull downs. And so I can do the stack with that, again, same tempo. But with these, I'm using very light weight and really just focusing on that contraction. And then after this, you'll see we move into lap pull downs and this is one of those exercises that everyone just butchers and um, with this I'm not focusing too much on retraction I'm really just focusing on depression of the scapula and as I said this phase of my program I'm really just working on scapular positioning and really just focusing on getting that perfect before I start really loading up the weights and pushing for that progressive overload. Shrugs are another exercise that people just, because they can, they just want to throw weight around. And with this, what I'm focusing on is having that protracted shoulder, leaning slightly forward with this, and really kind of, I don't think you call it retract the shoulder, but really elevate the shoulder and pinch it back in that position. Then we move on to rear delts, and this angle doesn't really show what's going on with this, but I'm actually not focusing on sending my arms back. What I'm actually focusing on is sending them across to either side of the room. And as you can see, I have the machine set, so it's really only the rear delt that can do the work. There is obviously some residual tension through the upper back there, but I'm really trying to minimize that and really just isolate that rear delt. Then we move on to everybody's favorite, a little bit of bicep work. And with this, what I'm focusing on is getting a nice little stretch in that bottom position. But you'll also notice I'm sending the pinky finger up first. Because what essentially you want to focus on is really getting that bicep short in that top or that contracted position. Um, and I find this is a really effective exercise, especially as you can see, I have very uh, high bicep insertions, 
purely genetic. There's not a huge amount you can do about it. Um, but with these, I feel like I can really isolate the bicep and really get a lot out of it. You'll also notice I'm really trying to keep those shoulders pinched back as well. But a lot of people lose tension in this exercise by letting those shoulders completely roll forward and their reps are different every time. Their elbows are moving all over the place, their shoulders moving all over the place. And that's not what we want. on to my favorite exercise and um, for biceps and that is the seated dumbbell zotman curl and with this i really like it because as you can see i get a lot out of it and my arms fill up pretty quick with blood um, but also i like it because it effectively targets the bicep and the forearm musculature and you can really kind of bring the bicep through kind of its whole function there and um, I really like it seated as well because you can really focus in that tension on the bicep not get a lot of neural noise going on but as you can see here as well I'm really focusing on keeping those elbows in place and there's not a whole lot of movement except for at that elbow joint it's all rotating pivoting around that joint Then at the end of my back workout, I'm focusing on doing a minute hang. And what I'm doing here, I'm just trying to decompress the, the vertebral column and kind of build some endurance in those grip muscles. And this is a really humbling exercise because when people go onto it first, they're like, oh yeah, I could definitely hang for a minute. And then they get 10, 15 seconds in and they want to give up. So I recommend giving it a try, but you will be humbled the first time or first few times you try it. Then we move on to some bridging. And I'm really, again, trying to open up that spine with this. And I'll go through my progression schemes uh, with these stretches in a while. But first of all, I'm just trying to build some new ranges, build some strength in those ranges. And then we move on to an exercise that most people haven't seen. And the first time you see it, you kind of go, what's really going on there? Is that even safe? And that is our dumbbell Jefferson curl. And essentially what I'm just doing with this is bringing that spine and all that musculature, musculature around the spine through its ranges. Because a lot of people don't get into that deep flexion position and they definitely don't get into that deep extension position. So all I'm trying to do here is kind of bring my spine through its range and build some strength and integrity around that spine. This is also great for stretching out the hamstrings, but with this, I wouldn't just jump into it and I definitely wouldn't jump into it weighted. I would just start body weight and start within your active range of motion. So most people won't be able to, like I am here, get their hands below their feet and they won't have the spinal mobility or the back mobility and they won't have the hamstring mobility for that either. Then once I've gone through about five, six reps, put the weight down and I'm really just focusing on lengthening that spine and stretching out those hamstrings as you can see there. I'm just kind of pumping the legs, stretching them out. And what I've lately been playing around with is bringing in some cardiovascular work and I do a lot of activity outside the gym um, and when I'm in college I cycle a lot. Um, but I'm bringing this in mainly for the lymphatic drainage uh, aspects of it because that kind of rebounding although I do do a lot of walking that kind of rebounding is really good for that but I'm also kind of bringing it in for the hand-eye coordination benefits it also offers <laughs> All right, so we are just on our way into the blood donation clinic in Delir Street. This is your second time giving blood, isn't it? Yes. It's grand, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so we're giving blood. Uh, probably gonna get some burritos afterwards. And I don't think you're allowed to record any footage in the actual clinic itself. I know, it's like a medical clinic, you know yourself. Um, so I don't think I'll be able to get any footage there, but if I can, I will show you that blood coming out my body. So just donated blood there. Uh, 
hit gains over there. I keep just telling people I fainted, but I didn't. <laughs> I ain't like that. Uh, yeah, got tapped twice. They took from both arms. Well, they didn't take from both arms. They tried to get a vein on both arms. Um, so I got the worst part twice. But other than that, it was all good. I'm gonna go get some burritos now. Um, I'll take you there. Oh yes now. Right, so guys, um, just finishing up the day here. Um, as you saw there, I went through back workout earlier on. Um, you saw the voiceover of that, my rationale for each of those exercises. Um, what I'm kind of doing with that and um, then another day I'm going to take you through how I am setting up my program what my personal goals are and that kind of stuff how I'm setting up my nutrition you know, all that kind of jazz and um, but what I don't want to do with or what I want to do with this blog is sorry vlog if I could speak and um, is not only show you how I'm training but also show you how we are more than just looking for improved body composition and improved performance in the gym like we want to actually make people healthy you know and looking at this whole fitness industry bringing it back to what it used to be the health and fitness industry rather than this all about six pack uh, lifestyle you know like yeah that should be a natural consequence but it's kind of reverse engineering like it shouldn't be your sole focus getting that six pack your real focus should be getting healthy and then as a side effect of that you get the body composition that you require you know so that's where we want to kind of take this and i also want to show you how i'm dealing with college and the kind of lifestyle we lead not that that is something that you perhaps need to follow along but people seem to like anyway how we get work done maybe you might pick up a tip or two about increasing your own productivity helping you towards whatever goals it is in life and um, but anyway if you like the video comment below like share subscribe you know that whole jazz